hip replacement. Hip joint consists of two major elements of skeletal system, femoral head which is upper part of the femur bone and acetabulum of the pelvis. Hip joint is a ball and socket joint. Ball is head of femur and socket is acetabulum, a part of the pelvis. A total hip replacement is done to replace head of femur and modify socket of the pelvic bone to hold the head of femur bone. Goal is to achieve pain relief and improve function of hip joint. Surgery is called total hip replacement involves replacement of femoral head and acetabulum with artificial components called prosthesis. Femoral head is replaced with metal stem consists of distal ball like structure and stain of the metal shaft. The deceased acetabulum is restructured with hollow metal prosthesis. Before the surgery, patient will receive intravenous fluid and prophylactic antibiotics. Surgery is performed under general or spinal anesthesia. The surgeon will make skin incision over the hip joint and then carefully separate muscles and ligament to access the hip joint. Once the hip joint is exposed, the surgeon will dislocate the joint and remove the femoral head from the acetabulum. Damaged cartilage within the acetabulum will be removed and discarded. Inner hollow surface of acetabulum will be reshaped to hold the acetabular metal prosthesis. Surgeon then secures the acetabular prosthesis into the socket using special cement or screws. Femoral head is excised from shaft of the femur bone. Prosthesis system consists of metal ball and metal shaft is placed into the distal femur bone and secured by using cement or adhesive. Once the acetabulum component and femoral components are in fully place, a check is done to see the movements of the new hip joint and stability of the hip joint. X-ray is used to verify if the joint is properly positioned or not. Muscles are carefully repositioned and drainage tubes are placed to remove excess fluid and blood from surgical area. Subcutaneous tissue skin is closed with stitches and staples. Hip joint and lower leg will be kept in cast for a few days. Patient is then transferred to the recovery area and observed of any complications. Patient is encouraged to use the new hip joint after a few weeks. Most patients are discharged from the hospital once they are able to walk with either crutch or walker. Thanks for watching the video presentation of total hip replacement presented by www.epainassist.com.